our services off with the Lord's Prayer. Yes. Yes. Because that's what Jesus said. He, he didn't say if you pray. He said we will pray. Yes. Pray like this. Our Father. So that's what we're going to do. If you're able, let's stand all over the house. And let's go to the Lord in prayer. And so I don't interrupt anything else. Our volunteers, will you come on up here? Let's get this out the way so we ain't got to interfere with worship anymore. Yes, yes. Absolutely. We need two volunteers and then we need another. Yeah, come on up here, young man. Praise God. There you are. The plates are for the tithes and offerings. The yellow bucket is for the youth fund. We need one more. One more come up here. Or for the loaves and fish, I mean. One more. Let your pass that around. There you go. Yes. All right. We're going to go to the Lord in prayer with the Lord's prayer. Before we do, if you have the need in this house, would you just throw your hands up so we can agree with you? Amen. About every hand in the house almost. We all have needs. And you know what? God is able to meet that need. If you read in those scriptures, it will tell you that Jesus, when he come up to folks, most every one of them were very desperate for a touch from him. And this morning, if you're in that place of desperacy, if you're in that place where you, you feel like you can't go another step unless the Lord moves on your behalf, I want you to know that Jesus' words to the people was always, if you can only believe, you will see the glory of God. So I want to just put that in your spirit this morning. Just drop that little nugget right there. If you can only believe, just know that you know that he is the Lord God and there ain't nothing that he can't do. There's nothing impossible to God and there's nothing that he cannot do. So if you can believe this morning, we're wanting to believe with you and just release our faith together. The word says, where two or three come together and touch any one thing and believe. What does it say? It shall be done. So if you believe that, I want you to pray with us. We're going to pray that the the, the Lord's Prayer first. And then we'll just go off into prayer. Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. 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 Father, any need in this house right now, I pray let your presence come down, your glory come down, and fill every heart and every need. Lord, we're hungry for you today. We're thirsty for you today. And you said if we hunger and thirst, then we shall be filled. I pray that you feel ever, every soul that has walked in this door today. I pray you fill them up to overflow. Any need they may have, God. Lord, I pray we believe and we're releasing our faith with theirs. Lord God, we believe that you hear our prayer. Your ear's not deaf and your arm is not shut, short or not cut off. But Lord, I pray, get our sins and our iniquities out of the way. Cover us by your blood. Wash us. Redeem us. Cleanse us. Lord God, set us apart. Sanctify us in Jesus' name. The rest of this service, Lord, let it have complete control. Your spirit is free, Lord, to move and do what you will. Touch the tithes and offerings, the loaves and fish. Lord, the build of fun. Touch the gift and the giver and the ones that don't have to give, God. Bless them also in the mighty name of Jesus, we declare. Amen. Amen and amen.